Good morning guys, welcome to today. A really nice cold morning. It must have went down from like seven degrees and it went down to minus 10 within the afternoon and night. And it was pretty cold last night. But now the sun is up and it's nice. It's nice out, it's kind of cold. It's minus 10, but when the sun is out and, it's, and there's no wind, it's a nice minus 10. We were supposed to get a lot of snow last night and I guess it missed us. I closed the door there at the arena just in case it snowed last night like it was supposed to. Was supposed to get like 10 centimeters, never got anything. So that's good. How's it going, Penny? Hey, eh? Want your breakfast? Oh, and there goes her peeing again in the stall. Eat that. Hey, Gracie. Hey, Grace. Ready for breakfast? Hey Willow, ready for breakfast? See you there. I see you poking your head out. There you go Willow. All we give them is like um, vitamins in their grain. It's just grain with some vitamins in it. But uh, I know some people don't give their horses any grain and I don't know if that's a good idea because if uh, like those horses that were loose yesterday if, if they got grain, I'm not sure if they do or not, but all you would need to do is have a bucket of grain and shake it and they would come running. So, I mean, that's one reason why it's a good thing to give your horse grain every morning. Even if it's just like a half a cup of vitamins, like Grace and Willow only get a half a cup of that. And, and Penny gets uh, two and a half cups of that supplement thing. So yeah, I don't know. Comment down below, do you give your horses grain at all? And do you th agree with me and you think it's a good idea to give your horse grain? Just so that if it gets loose, you can <laughs> shake the bucket of grain, like shaking a bucket of treats, that might work too, but if you shake a bucket of grain and they see that bucket, they should be coming running. Close the door so it'll be warmer and you got no coat on and I had all the wasp nests were on that door. There's tons of wasp nests on that door. So we gotta knock them all down. It's funny, they're not on that door, but. Wait, what door? This door. Oh, there's two. See, because they're closed. They're all along the door. I mean, all in the top part of the door. So we gotta take them out. I'm gonna be up at the house, but I do this. I'm too sore. There's no wasps. They're all like frozen, sleeping, hibernating, doing whatever. I'm still going to be up at the house when you do it. After chores, then. And the horses are out. The horses are out and Gracie's rolling. Willow's decided to roll. Get their itches out. Ground is hard. <laughs> There's one shake. You always have to wait for the shake after they're done rolling. If you didn't know that, there's Willow Shake. Either shake or run. Yeah, I usually shake first. Because if they don't shake, then what? You see if Ooh, I can't even see you. There's a big glow around you. Oh. If they don't shake, then? They're probably colicking. Yeah, that's right. They're probably colicking. See, we know our horse or stuff. Or run. Because if they're feeling really fresh and they get up from rolling and they just run. Yeah. All right, let's get clean stalls. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Sam and I are out shopping today because it is the season to be shopping. We're out shopping and um, I know you guys clicked on this video because you want to see what the heck happened with those horses. Did we catch them? And how did we catch them? And most importantly, who caught them? Who caught the horses? Who was the horse whisperer yesterday? It was a crazy day. I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of the video. It was insane. Like catching those horses, trying to catch those horses was wild. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys that right now, the end of that, uh, before we continue on with today's video because it was exciting and not very much exciting stuff happens to us right now because it's winter. But anyway, we're going to shop, show you guys what we bought later, but right now I want you guys to see what happened. The dramatic conclusion to the horses got out. Sam missed the turn, the dramatic conclusion to Sam missed the turn. Were you focusing on me? He was listening to me. He was like, oh, I'm spellbound by Laura's story. 
and then he missed the turn. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna leave you guys with that footage right now, and we'll see you guys back when we get home. Literally saw the lady. She's got a handful of halters. She didn't give us any halter. Like one halter. We got a girth. I mean, it kind of worked until you left the leader. <laughs> This one's not the leader. This one's not the leader. What did you say? This one's the leader. The fat one. The fat one. No, the one that one runs away. Because oh. I, that one. All right, I get it. They all follow that one until they. I do not know where Gabby and the lady are, but we found them again. I'm trying to keep them back from the road. We know that the one that we caught is not the leader. She said, if you catch the leader, you're safe. So we caught the ringleader, finally. Yeah, it's this pretty paint one here. So if he's got it around the neck, and I got the treats, I got the blanket, and Gabby and the owner are nowhere to be found. We don't have a halter. We can't go that way to the car where it's warm, and my phone is. We can't go anywhere because we saved the horses, sort of. So, so if this one leaves, they all leave. If this one leaves, they all leave. Here, wait, hold on to her. It's okay, you got it. Okay, look, she's pouring sweat. So I just don't know what to do from this point on. Guys. You're gizmet, aren't you? Yeah, you know, they've been scared. And you know, I ran out of treats. So basically, they've been running for fear. People trying to chase them down. So anyways, I ran out of treats. I got no rope, I got a girth. And the only way I'm keeping this girl here is by bonding. You see her? She's looking at me. Yeah. I heard a wild pig. I hear something. Is that leading them over here? I don't know. You go ahead, eat the grass. Eat the grass, it's okay. I'm just making friends now. And Sophie's over there. Sophie tried to go to the car and get more treats, and these horses tried to follow her, so we're stuck here. Freezing cold, no rope, we're frozen. This one loves me now. He loves me. Oh, this one's his butt to the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, Sophie got the young ones. This one keeps putting his butt to our faces and we're afraid. This one's like adorable. But this one, you can tell it's been really loved. Anyway, we're friends now. They're not afraid of us now. Nobody understands how important a bond is with a horse, but when the horses are scared and running wild, if there's no bond or no connection, you're screwed. Like, we are far from home, you guys. We've been out here for hours in our car. People have been coming and going, and I don't even know, Gabby's still in the woods somewhere, like, with a lady. I don't even know the lady, but she's teamed up with this lady to find her horses. The lady seems kind of nice. The lady was nice. Yeah, I mean... I would be too. I would be too. Like, and people don't I'm worried care. about her horses. People, yeah, I'm worried about now. our horses. Our horses have been grass all day. Oh. Hopefully Sam will be home soon. Know that we're missing. Come and help us. So this is a girl, and those are boys. Girl? Oh. I would have swore they're boys because they're kind of simple. <laughs> but this one, oh, I could tell she was a girl. I connect with a girl. I connect with a girl. You're my friend now. She's like, oh my gosh, you're a crazy friend. It's okay. You're okay. Back end. I know. They, they, fertilizer. Yeah, man. fertilizer and aerate, aerated. Your lawn is that's, aerated. That's, 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 that's what I said to Doug on the phone when I called him. I said, hopefully they don't run across your lawn because they'll put holes in them. Oh, they uh, did. They ran all if over. They got shoes. It's even worse. We did it. We saved the day. Me and Sophie and Gabby, we all saved the day. All these people know where we live. All of them, they're like, where did these horses come from? And I told them the name of the street and they're like, oh, is it this house? And they're naming our house. And I'm like, nope, it's not the house. <laughs> they all know where we live, they don't know us. But they know where we live and that we have horses and ones of paint. <laughs> anyway, oh man, they're walking, I'm driving. They're all walking all the way back. Gabby, Gabby's, I don't know, I'm gonna have to go buy her something to eat because she's been, warm and now it just got bitter cold you guys but we did it all right we are home uh, it is cold out but i have an exciting day with my pony today today's saturday and i'm going to try and ride her i'm going to try and ride her today her she hasn't been laying with her thrush or anything it's just little but i've been trying to get on top of it so it doesn't get worse 
and it's not going well because she just takes the boot off. You do not win. Yeah, well, we got to the horses first. So uh, the ponies are all over there close to the road, but we have a big fence. And Penny Pickles over here. Let's see if she comes to me. She's mad at me. Hey, Pen. Come on, Penny. Come on. Come on. Come in. She's not coming. <laughs> she might run. Every time I put the camera down is when they run. Here. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm cold. Cold, yeah. Come on, Penny Pickle. Okay, so I, I wanted to tell you guys really quick. I fell in love with that mare that I met yesterday. Her name, I think, is Sadie. And the lady just bought her. And she's all the things I love. But she dragged Sophie. She had to swap with the person. Hi, Ben. But... I really enjoyed her. I really liked her. I've discovered that I have, a, I have a type. I have a paint type. I love paint. And I love sensitive horses. And I love mares. Anyway, it's cold. But I wanted to tell you guys what she, what she did. So it was really funny because I always tell you guys, Penny does this thing to me where she looks in my eyes and she searches back and forth. She does this and tries to tell if I'm in a good mood or if I'm in a bad mood. And the horse that mare Sadie she did the exact same thing to me you guys she asked me if I was nice or not and when she discovered that I was nice she curled right into me and it was the most crazy feeling good job Willow good job now you don't get dirty she's mostly clean <laughs> don't get dirty and I'll be down soon to ride if I ride because it's cold oh you just drink water yeah, she always drinks it all. She's such a good girl. Anyway, the lady said I could buy her. <laughs> I said I love her. She's got the bald face that I like, and I just really liked her. And the lady said I could buy her. Oh, close Wait, the door. I think she was joking, though. <laughs> but here's the thing. I would buy her. <laughs> I would buy her because she spoke to my heart. But the problem is I can't just buy every horse that speaks to me. <laughs> can't do it it's true though I can't just buy every single horse that I like and I do like a lot of horses. I can't just buy every horse that speaks to me even though that horse spoke to me and appealed to me but I can't not only that but I can't handle like a lot of horses I can't handle any more horses we all have one horse Sophie says she could be her at home riding horse but we don't even know if she's a riding horse yeah. You only have two, Gabby. The next horse will be my horse. Yeah. So, Sam, you want to paint mare? No. But yeah, I'll you could tell she was like a sensitive girl. She's just like Penny. That horse is just like Penny. And I love Penny so much. And I, I could really love that girl too. Like she had that same, soon as she looked in my eyes and she could tell that I was a loving person. And I said, and so this is what I want to know. This is my question to you guys. My question to you guys is this. Do horses that do that, do they do it because they've known something unkind in their past? Is that how they get to be that sensitive? Why they look at people to see if they have kindness in them? Like, is that why they do it? Like, You know the chickens are waiting for something when they sit at the door. Frozen water, empty food. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Oh, it's not empty. Lots of food in there. They just don't know how to shake it. Ugh. It's getting super cold now to the point that we have to give them fresh water every single day because their water freezes overnight, so when they wake up, their water is cold, frozen. <laughs> They're so excited. They're like, fresh water, woohoo! But Sophie's trying to catch the eggs. I don't, I used to have like a spatula, not a spatula, like a big spoon thing, and I used to scoop the eggs with it, but I don't see it anywhere. I personally think like a raccoon or somebody took off with my spoon. Can Sophie get the eggs? We're using a net. Can Sophie get the eggs? That is the question. She's trying. She's trying. She's about to get them. 
two eggs, which means that we didn't get eggs for two days. There's one. There's one. It's getting smaller. The eggs are getting smaller. You just gave up too fast. I just gave up too fast. Good night, chickens. We'll see you in the morning. Good night, little chickens. Ah! <laughs> Sophie gets caught. I already ripped a hole in the shirt. Ah! <laughs> Sophie, you girl scream. I am a girl. <laughs> And uh, that is it for us, you guys. We love you, and we will see you guys early tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful, just the way you are.